we want to prove that both of these are the inverse of each other. So what I'm going to do is f of x of x of g of x and g of f of x. So f of g of x is going to be equal to 3 minus 2. And, and where x is in f of x, I'm going to plug in g of x. So I get negative 1 half x minus 3. Uh, 3 minus, well, I'm going to distribute the negative 2. So what I end up with is actually negative 1 half times negative 2 gives me 1. So it's just x minus 3. So I get three plus x minus three, threes cancel out and we're just left with x. So that's off to a good start. Now I'm gonna do g of f of x. So I get um, negative one half and then three minus two x All right, so I get negative 3 halves plus x minus 3. This doesn't look good. Hold on. Oh, I know where I made a mistake. I didn't distribute across entirely. This should be um, plus 3 halves. Uh, well, I should have just done the inside first before I multiplied out, but that's okay. So these cancel out, and we're just left with x. So that means that they're the inverse of each other. Um, all right, so is there any restrictions on the domain? No domain restrictions. All reals. Depends on how formal you want to write it. I mean, that's all real numbers. This isn't formal at all, but it's just telling me. And f of x and g of x are inverses of each other. Woohoo. All right, that's it. Awesome.